Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March favorites. And I really don't have that many favorites this month. I haven't even been wearing makeup for the most part, like for the last week and a half. So, but I do have a few things that I have been rediscovering in my collection. So I want to go over them with you and show you what I like. So the first thing I want to start with is if you guys, a lot of you guys know Wendy from My Life Wendy, and she's a friend of mine through YouTube. She has her own YouTube channel, and it's an amazing channel. She is very soothing. I love listening to her because she is just very calm, and she's very easy to listen to. I can really listen to Wendy talk all day. She likes clean beauty, and she does um, unboxings of clean beauty. Uh, beauty items she also does get ready with me um you know she tells us about she's a well-rounded channel but one of the things that i discovered from wendy not too long ago is that she makes jewelry and i watched one of her videos and i will link it below where she showed some of the pieces that she had made and i immediately emailed her and told her that i wanted i saw two of them that i liked and i ordered them from her this is one of them. Now, this was a little longer. This had one extra link, but it was way too low on me because my neck is actually not that long. So I took a link off, which I didn't even think about it because I'm sure if I would have told her, she would have just made it, you know, one link shorter. So I think it was just one link that I removed. But anyway, it was longer. But I love it. As you can see, it has like a rose at the bottom. It is very, very beautiful. They're not heavy at all. They're very comfortable. You don't even feel them on your ears. They're very, very light. And this is another pair that I purchased. Look how beautiful that these are. They're so gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. And I'm not done. I love these. I'm Christian, I'm Catholic, so I love wearing these. I think these are so, so pretty. Really beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but it says love. And it has like a little um heart. There you go. It says love. And it has a little heart. And it's beautiful. Then I have these here, which also has a little rose. And each one of them is super, super light and super comfortable. And is that all I brought out? Oh, here's the other pair. I was going to say, I thought I had at least one more pair. And these. And you guys have been seeing them because I've been wearing them on all of my videos lately. I've been wearing her earrings. So pretty. And she told, she said on a video the other day that she has made some more. So I asked her to email me pictures because I want to get more. And I don't know if she makes like bracelets or something like that. If she does, I'm going to be all over it because they're very affordable beautiful comfortable i really do love them and i wear silver or white gold more than i do yellow gold so this is right up my alley i really do enjoy them and she sends them to you in cute little organza bags and yeah it was really really i really love them so check her out so we'll leave her web her um channel link and also the video where she talked about her jewelry so you guys can check it out so now as far as makeup, I have rediscovered um, some drugstore makeup because that's what I've been playing with. Um, I have not purchased any makeup this month except for the Trend Mood box that I just unboxed. But all my beauty boxes that I received like BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I did, I have been ordering a couple of things from uh, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and these are replacements or backup for products that I use. So um, once the sale is over, and I think I'm pretty much done, I don't think there's anything else out there that I want, I'll go ahead and share with you the different items that I purchased, but I want to wait till um, I haven't received anything. The shipping, of course, is taking a lot longer now than ever, and I understand. I'm not upset. This I don't even need the items so um you know it doesn't matter how long it takes to get them so let me start with since we're talking about some of the current situation my hands are so dry from washing them so much so um, a couple of items or products that i have been using to help with that is the first aid ultra repair intense hydration this stuff is so so good it almost looks 
and I got this I believe it was the last time that Ulta had a 21 days um, in September I think it was you just need a little bit it's moussey it really has very little scent uh, and it's not perfumey um, it just smells like a like a hand lotion with hot perfume it just smells natural it is so hydrating it is not thick at all it doesn't it sinks it sinks into your skin it's really really nice so i have been going between this one and my cerave moisture cream which i love and this one we all all been using this i've kind of have it in the in the kitchen so that whenever we wash our hands this one's almost done. I actually ordered another one at Target because I only have like maybe a fourth of the jar left on this. So I ordered another one. And I love the one with the pump because you don't have to be sticking your hands in there. This one, I'm the only one that uses it. So, and actually, I usually use a little spatula. I bought myself some really inexpensive spatulas on Amazon. And that's what I use on products like this or like if I have eye creams or face creams that come in a pot in a jar. I use that as sticking, instead of sticking my hand in there. So these two I have been loving and they have been a lifesaver for my hands. And even with that, the palm of this hand is very, very dry. And then over here, I feel like, you know, dryness. So I spent all day uh, putting moisturizer on my hand. Another thing that I have rediscovered is from Flower Beauty. And this is the Supernova Celestial. And this is like a priming oil. And I like to use this when I'm going to use a foundation that is matte and especially if it's thick because this gives you like a little bit of hydration and really doesn't have a scent and it gives you like a little bit of a glow, but it doesn't feel oily. It gets absorbed. You guys, my dad is here, so I'm sure you're hearing him in the background. So it gives you some hydration, a little bit of a glow, and that way your foundation doesn't look super matte on your face. So I really... I'm glad that I rediscovered this. Another thing that I have been loving, and this one I got it like a month ago maybe. This is from Glow Recipe, and this is the Lip Pop. And this is a balm, and it's in watermelon. And this stuff is so good. Okay, this has like a little core in the middle that you can't see it anymore. But this smells like Jolly Rancher watermelon. It gives your lips like a pink stain and it has like a little bit of a scrubbies in there but not enough that you're gonna see it it's not a lip scrub but as you're going over it you kind of exfoliating your lip at the same time it has very few it's not super heavy with the little scrubbies but I definitely can feel them but you can't see them like if I put them on it doesn't look like my lips have like a bunch of you know sugar scrub on it or anything like that but this is really nice very very hydrating smells amazing your lips feel really really nice i really do love it and this is usually what i've been using during the day when i haven't been wearing makeup okay a foundation that i have also rediscovered in my stash is by neutrogena and it's a hydro boost hydrating tint that's what i have on today this is a very light um foundation very light um coverage so I mean, you can see the spots on my face, but there's times when I don't want to wear something heavy on my face. When I want something that's fast and comfortable and just to kind of like even my, even my skin out a little bit. And I don't really care if some of my imperfections show through. So I do enjoy this. The only thing I don't like is the application. It has a doe foot applicator. I hate these. I really do prefer a pump, but that's the way that this one is. So I don't think it has any SPF. It says moisturizes and plump skin for 24 hours. And it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid. I never leave it on for 24 hours. I don't know if it's supposed to be helping after you remove it still, the skincare. But it's nice to know that it has some good ingredients in it that are supposed to be good for your skin. So I really do enjoy that. I rediscovered my Cody Airspun, which I do love this. And this looks really nice under your eyes and on your face. Never looks cakey. Never looks dry. I actually do like it very inexpensive it's about six dollars and this will last you forever okay I also rediscovered this by uh, Catrice and this is the California in a box palette and this kind of reminds me like my Smashbox Cali palette because it has one highlighter 
and it has two bronzers and two blushes and this is really pretty the tones in this is very very pretty it's very neutral but it gives you a nice finish i don't have it on today this is not what i have on today but i really do enjoy using this and sometimes i'll just use this on my eyes also if i want to create a quick look another highlight that i have been loving is this one this is by milani and it's 110 dolce perla this is very 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 pretty and it's very subtle it kind of reminds me like a um Laura Mercier highlighter it looks like that or Bobbi Brown that it gives you a nice glow but it's not like super my, my hand looks glowier because I have some of that oil that Fenty Beauty but it gives you a nice glow but it looks you like a nice glow from within it doesn't look powdery it doesn't have any glitter it's a baked highlighter which I usually like baked highlighter formulas better I think that they look more natural on my skin so I really do enjoy this little brush that I purchased from Real Techniques this is really really nice and this is I use this side it's like a travel brush and this one is really nice for your concealer because it fits into the small nooks and crannies of your face and this one is really nice to apply foundation so these are this is really nice if you travel or I use it during the week too it's just quick it's dense enough to do a great job it doesn't leave streaks in your face or brush marks and it's tiny so i really enjoy it and this one also works to do your concealer you don't always have to go to the little one but i really do enjoy this i got this at ulta okay let's see what else i think oh eyeshadow palette this one i had not used it for a while and i really pulled it out because i love this this is one of my favorite uh color pop eyeshadow palettes it is so it looks so neutral and so boring but it's so pretty you can really create some beautiful looks with this this is what i'm wearing today and i really do like it even if you use like this brown here that has like a little bit of shimmer but look what a pretty like chocolate brown that is these shades are so so pretty i love this palette this one is one that you can create a really pretty look in a couple of minutes and it looks like you spent a lot of time on your eyes and you didn't okay now three products that i just finished that i love two of them i am going to repurchase one of them i can do without not because i don't like it but because i use something that's a little less expensive and i like it just as much if not more the first one that i'm going to repurchase when sephora has a, the um, vib sale which is supposed to be in april is my algenist the complete eye renewal balm i love this this is very nourishing and it's very emollient so i only use this at night because it's a little heavy to use under concealer uh, i tried it before and my concealer does crease because it's a super emollient so i usually use the ola and banana brightening cream during the day or the bobby brown eye cream in the mornings and then i use this one at night and i i put quite a bit of it i mean i put it all over here on this bone over here on the side on my eyelids except for close to my lash line because i do use a lash serum and then i even go like right you know right under the brow bone so i use quite a bit of this every day i do really do enjoy it this is like the fourth jar that i've gone through and i really like it enough to keep repurchasing it and yeah this is a must we just received one on boxycharm from um Murad and it's pretty pricey it's like $72 and it's okay but it's not it's okay for for the morning it's not emollient enough for at night at night I like to put a lot of heavier products on my skin so that it can really soak in in the morning I like to go a little lighter so that my makeup doesn't slide off my face okay and then my Sunday Riley Luna oil I love this I do have a backup for this already um i had this is probably like maybe the fifth or sixth jar that i've gone through not jar bottles that i've gone through and i love this stuff and i really have seen a difference in my face and the texture of my face um my even though my spots are still pretty noticeable they are lighter and i think it's because of the vitamin c and the different products that i use but i have been using this for a while and i know this has made a difference on the texture of my face and this is a retinol it's a sleepy night oil but it's retinol 
And this is a vitamin C that I ran out of. This stuff is pricey. And I purchased it when Macy's had a sale that it was like 50% off. They had most of, well, they had all, all this line of uh, Peter Thomas Roth, 50% off. And I purchased uh, this. And the regular price is like $90, which is very, very pricey. This is one ounce. It does have a pump but really this is not better and it's more expensive than my drunk elephant c c firma the vitamin c which is what i was using before i used this so i'm just going to stay with my drunk elephant because i really do love drunk elephant i think they have amazing products definitely have made a huge difference in my skin so i'm just going back to that this isn't bad but why pay more for something that didn't do anything more than what the drunk elephant does? So I, my skin didn't go back to having a problem, but it didn't do anything extra. So I'm just going back to my drunk elephant. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for my video. Um, I guess I had a lot more than I thought because after I added everything up, it was quite a bit. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will list all these products below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Stay safe. Mwah.